Hi, I'm Clark. I'm Jordan. Welcome back to Blogavision. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter R. That's right, because today's episode is about rapists, racists, rush, and relationships for sale. So in today's opening story, a hypnotist was arrested on Friday for putting a woman to a trance and then sexually harassing her. Yeah, it's pretty bad when um, the only action you ever get is from someone you hypnotize. First of all, this guy is 61 years old, and the woman he was doing this with was 31 and overweight, so this is creepy enough as it is, but let me show you this guy's picture. I didn't even need to read the article to know this guy was a rapist. I mean, just look at the guy. He looks like Mr. Rogers on drugs. When she was hypnotized, he commanded that she remove her shirt, and he played around with her boobies. Next, he asked her to put her... Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. And here's how she found out that what he was doing was wrong. She typed into a Yahoo search engine, is it normal for my therapist to touch me? I just have no idea. He also stated in court, we could have had sex, but I wanted to keep it professional at the moment. Yeah, real professional, buddy. So it's the age old debate. Are HP laptops racist? My coworker Wanda and I are sitting in front of an HP MediaSmart computer. We're using the face, the face tracking software, so it's supposed to follow me as I move. I'm black. I think my blackness is interfering with the computer's ability to, to follow me. I do this, no following. Not really, not really follow me. Now, my white coworker, Wanda, is about to slide in the frame. Now, as you can see, the camera is panning to show Wanda's face. It's following her around. But as soon as my blackness enters the frame, which I, I, will, I will sneak into the frame. I'm sneaking in, I'm sneaking in. I'm in there. That's it. Yeah, and that's there we go. It, it stopped. It's, it's, as soon as, soon as uh, white Wanda appears, <laughs> the camera moves. Black Desi gets in there. Oh, no. No face recognition anymore, buddy. Hewlett-Packard computers are racist. I said it. I welcome responses to why the HP webcam does not pick up Negroes. <laughs> Apparently, they are. So apparently the Jersey Shore thing has been spreading more than we thought. So, our final competition for talent, our judges, performing lyrical dance to Lady Gaga's poker face. I think he may be a little bit too old for that. If he keeps on pumping that vigorously, his arm's gonna fall off. So why do we happen to talk about Rush Limbaugh every week? Because he's a douchebag. Give him a fake tan, some abs, and a spiky haircut, and he'll fit in just fine. Okay, so a 19-year-old female college student is actually offering up her virginity to the highest bidder on an auction website under the title Relationships for Sale. And I thought the hypnotist went through some extraordinary measures to get laid. She says she's desperate for money to pay for college, so she's offering her sex to you. Isn't that called... prostitution? She says she's fit, trim, attractive, and has no medical conditions. But maybe a mental one. So the highest bid actually got up to $18,000. <laughs> maybe it's the hypnotist's bid. So here's our question of the day. What's your favorite dance move? Do you like the fist pump? Like Rush Limbaugh? Let us know. Well, I'm Clark. I'm Jordan. And this has been another episode of Blog Vision. Don't buy sex online, kids. Bye, world. Bye, world.